Hello sports fans, I'm Ralph Luck. Welcome to RVing with Luck. My cat Ninja and I have been full time in this Class C RV for over two years, 99% of the time boondocking. Full time boondocking. Not gonna find that a lot of other places. But moving out of the state land that I've been in for about a week, Oh my gosh, can I have the police called on me anymore? Let me just show you the view from the street to show you how far off uh, the RV is in the desert. Just thought I'd give you a shot from the street of that evil RV out there in the desert near the freeway. That the neighbors can't stand. Ah. So yeah, me being out there in the desert, middle of nowhere, in view of people's, from people's homes that made him call the cops. Anyway, plans changed, but I'm kind of still sticking to the schedule. My buddy had to go out of town for some emergency, and he won't be back till a day later on Sunday. So we're not going to do work on the VW till Monday. Well, I'm out of the state land. As you can see, I'm at Walmart. So I'm just got groceries thrown in the RV, literally. I'm going to go put them away. I've got this jack I'm going to show you and tell you why I got it. And uh, then we're going to go shower at Planet Fitness and then off to Cracker Barrel. Tomorrow, I'll actually go to my buddy's house in the evening, stay the night at the park across the street, and then we'll work on the VW in two days. And then we get on the road, hitting the I-10 East, the southern route to go east. Cannot wait. It's really weird and cloudy day, but it's not bad. Those clouds keep in the heat, so it's a pretty warm day. But let me show you one of the things I got here at Walmart. I don't know if this is any good or not, but it is tiny, it is light, and it's six tons. I've been going two years with no way to change a tire. Yes, if I got a flat tire out in the forest road, I'd be looking for some help. Because I don't have a jack, and I don't have a lug wrench. Well, at least I have a jack now. Next stop is maybe uh, AutoZone to get a lug wrench. But that just needs to go to lift up one corner of the RV to get a tire changed if need be. Two tons should do it, but six tons was like another $5 more. So, I think it's really light. Like, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. So I'm gonna put that away, put the groceries away and off to Planet Fitness. So yeah, I kind of waited a while. Who's in there? <laughs> uh, to come and shower. But hey, got nothing but time and no reason to rush over to the Cracker Barrel. So Planet Fitness here is open till eight. I believe it's about 6.30. So let's go get clean. Well, here we are for the night. Got a nice spot at Cracker Bell right along the edge so I could even put my slide out, out. That's awesome. And plenty of room. I think. Nope, I'm gonna need to pull forward a bit. Definitely pull forward a few more feet. Yeah, just to be safe. Well, that about does it for this exciting day. All fresh and clean. I uh, got uh, the slide out out in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. 
side door open so Ninja could look out the screen. And I'm gonna go make a, a tasty wrap. Thanks for watching and joining me on this adventure. Go out there, be positive, be nice, be active.